my name is Wyatt Warner. I'm here with a company called Opener where we're working on Blackfly. Blackfly is an all-electric personal aerial vehicle. It uh, flies under ultralight regulation, so you don't even need a license to fly it. Um, I joined the company about two years ago. Uh, I have a background in mechanical engineering and a lifelong passion for aviation. Um, I worked at some internships at larger aviation companies, but Blackfly caught my mind since it's an uh, innovative and fast-moving company and we're working on a really unique solution to personal air mobility. I had the unique opportunity to fly Blackfly in the Oshkosh Air Show just yesterday in front of a crowd of, a huge crowd of people. It was definitely a little bit nerve wracking for me, but uh, really thrilling to be able to show off this technology uh, to the public. It's you know, an incredibly fun vehicle to fly. So even while I was up there, I was finding some time to smile and, and enjoy the views of the crowd. It's a full fly-by-wire system. So the flight controllers, our three redundant flight controllers are doing all the heavy lifting for you. I just have a single joystick and the flight controllers deals with all eight motor throttles and control surface settings. This vehicle has about uh, 20 minutes of endurance with a 200 pound payload and 20% reserve. So it's definitely geared towards shorter hops at this point, but battery technology and everything is coming up. So that this technology has a lot of room to grow. I got the privilege of flying this vehicle in the air show. I joined the company as a flight test engineer and through that process I was able to become one of our remote pilots and I've gathered uh, about 50 hours of joystick time flying this vehicle from the ground. Uh, last month I started flying the vehicle myself and uh, as one of our more experienced uh, remote operators I was selected for flying in the air show. Our big goal as a company is to bring this vehicle to production. Some of our uh, main hurdles getting there is finishing up a reliability testing and then racking up as many human flight hours as we can to ensure a great operator experience and then uh, spinning up a production line. After that we're going to move to an early access program where we seek out some partners who are experienced aviators and can uh, test this vehicle and fly this vehicle and, and develop a customer, a customer experience to give us feedback on what it's like to own this vehicle as a customer and after that we're going to hit full production. So this vehicle is predominantly carbon fiber. We have you know, a couple other components here and there, but the structure is carbon fiber to keep it as light as possible. We got a pretty strict weight limit because we're flying as an ultralight. So yeah, as with all aviation, minimizing weight is the name of the game. Uh, this vehicle is so thrilling and fun to fly. We have a great simulator that really prepared me well to hop into the single seat vehicle. But what the simulator doesn't capture is um, the sense of flying over the ground and also the sense of acceleration. When this takes off, it has you know over 800 pounds of thrust to well over one thrust to weight ratio. So it leaps into the air and you feel pressed into the seat as you see the ground just dropping away from you. And that's, that's one of my favorite feelings. And to be able to do that in front of a huge crowd of people was definitely got me nervous, but was just such a fun time. Comes in any color you want, as long as that color's black. Actually, I think we've, I don't actually know the company uh, policy. I think we we do have the option of uh, working with individuals to customize the vehicle with vinyl wraps or paint jobs. So uh, definitely it can be customized and come in a variety of colors. So I personally don't have a private pilot's license. This is the only vehicle I fly. And since it's a part 103 ultralight, you don't need a license to fly it. So this is perfect for your aviation enthusiasts that might not have time to finish ground school or get their private pilot's license or just has a backyard they want to fly out of. So it's a great way to make the skies more accessible. Uh, the full air show experience here for the company and myself as the operator is a really smooth process. They, they put on such a great air show here and just a really professionals at running it. So there's a morning air show briefing that we go to and uh, all the performers you know, synchronize their game plan, make sure they're on the same page. When we were out on the runway, we had air ops with us who uh, could mark exactly when we were supposed to take off and land and when I'm in the air, you know, the airspace is mine and I just get to complete my routine and have nothing else to think about. All right. Hi, my name is Tina. I work for Opener. What you're about to see is me flying the simulator for our black fly. I I'm going to be honest, it took me about 30 seconds to learn how to do it. It's really awesome, it's really fun, and I can't wait to go back to work and hopefully become an operator really soon. All right, yeah, so the way it works is we come right over here, take a seat. Before putting on the Oculus, usually we give a quick briefing. Um, basically, we've got the thumbstick here that's in charge of the altitude. Uh, pushing it forward will bring the vehicle up. 
pulling it down will bring the vehicle back down. Pushing the entire joystick forward is going to have the vehicle moving faster. Similarly, pulling it towards you is going to slow the vehicle down. We've got a trigger button on the back, which is what we use to transition between different modes. You can rotate to twist the aircraft, change the heading, and you can move left by pushing left and move right by pushing right. The way it works is you put these goggles on um, and then you look straight forward and by then you can see what I see. <laughs> so that's about it. Where, where should we fly to? Right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And hopefully we'll see you at our next air show. How cool would this be? Quietly take off from your backyard or wherever you want to go and just, you know, go down to the uh, go down to your favorite pub or, or place of uh, of enjoyment and hang out in the black spot and then quietly fly back home. Thanks for watching.